Welcome to the Cloud Brothers. I'm Corey. I'm Scott. And together we are the Cloud Brothers. Cloud Brothers. And uh, we are happy to report a uh, very uh, recent development in internet time that we hit uh, 90 describe 90 describers. I mean subscribers. 90, describers? 90 oh. subscribers. 90 describers say that we're awesome. Um, and we appreciate every one of you because uh, if we had 90 people in our living room, we'd probably call the police because that's too many people in our living room. And yeah. uh, we're going to need a bigger house. So uh, we'll just build a longer a table. Boat. We're going to need a bigger boat. Um, so thank you for uh, liking and subscribing to any and all of our, our videos and uh, j just coming by to watch. Uh, it is appreciated. And uh, well, today uh, we're going to have some fun. We have a very uh, simple but cornerstone uh, tutorial directly from AWS. Um, we already have gone through it once and uh, it's pretty awesome. So we're just going to, uh, we had a dress rehearsal. Let's, uh, let's say that's what it was. I think that, I think that works, right? I'm You're... dressed. I'm dressed. I got my shirt on. Okay. Uh, yeah. It, we may have forgotten our shirts uh, in, in the uh, first recording because, uh, well, you know, we get down like that. Uh, yeah, technical difficulties. So anyway, uh, what you need to do uh, for this, uh, we're going to uh, do this. Link will be in the description below. Uh, run a serverless Hello World with AWS Lambda tutorial. Um, so uh, the overview of this tutorial, you'll learn the basics of running code on AWS Lambda without provisioning or managing servers. We will walk through how to create a Hello World Lambda function using the AWS Lambda console. We'll then show you how to manually invoke the Lambda function using sample event data and review your output metrics. Everything done in this tutorial is free tier eligible. So, yeah, oh, uh, one thing, one thing, one thing I forgot to say is through the magic of television, we are smaller now. Um, so uh, AWS experience required for this tutorial that you can follow along with because we'll be doing it real time to tape yeah. um, is uh, time to complete 10 minutes. It's pretty accurate. Uh, cost to complete. It's free tier requires AWS account, uh, which I have uh, open over above Scott's head. Uh, recommended browser Chrome. That's what you see all around us. Uh, account, please note accounts created within the past 24 hours might not yet have access to the services required for this tutorial. So if you just got a free tier account, you might need to wait a day or two. Um, services used, AWS Lambda, just one. Uh, we like this one too, uh, because uh, today is November uh, 16th, 2022. And this is just about three or four months ago, uh, which is pretty great. Uh, so uh, we'll get straight into it. Implementation. This is how you do it. Just follow along. It's going to be quick. But the good thing about YouTube is you can pause it. Uh, so enter the uh, Lambda pause, console. Pause, rewind, like, and subscribe. Yep. Pause, rewind, like, and subscribe. Pause, rewind, like, and subscribe. Pause, rewind, like, and subscribe. So you got to find Lambda. I'm going to pretend I don't see it in my drop down men menu, but you just go into the little search thing here. And you type in Lambda, it'll automatically populate. Just click right here. Step one's completed. All right. Uh, step two. Blueprint, blueprints provide uh, example code to do some minimal processing. Most blueprints process events from specific event sources, such as S3, DynamoDB, or a custom application. In the Lambda console, choose create function. That's right here. This uh, orange triangle. Yes, sir. And uh, select use a blueprint radio button in the middle. Boom. Boom. So I did that in the filter box, which is right here. Enter hello. Oops. Hello, hello. dash world. world dash Python. Press enter. Right here, you're going to see a radio button. Uh, it'll it shows in the instructions right here. Um, and then uh, right over uh, my brother's beautiful noggin, there is a configure uh, button. So you just click that. And now we are at the end of step two. Step three, configure and create your Lambda function. Um, so a Lambda function consists of code you provide, associated dependencies and configuration. The configuration information you provide includes the compute resources you want to allocate. For example, Murray 
execution timeout and an IAM role that AWS Lambda can assume to execute your Lambda function on your behalf. You will now enter basic information about your Lambda function. Name, you can name your Lambda function here. That's right here, function name. Uh, for this tutorial, enter hello-world-python role. You will create a new role from AWS policy templates. Role name right here. Um, we are oops, uh, right there. Uh, type lambda basic execution. All right, uh, lambda function code uh, that's down here. Go to the bottom of the page. Sorry, in this section, you can review. So you can review all this stuff. Uh, yep. If you know Python, this will be fairly easy for you to read. Um, oh, you see how it says on your Python function, return event key one? Yeah. On line 11? Mm. That's Echo. why we didn't get the other values when we did the dress rehearsal, because you're only returning the key one. Just, I just noticed that now. Yeah, ex exactly. So, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll, I'll t we'll tell you what that means in a second. Uh, so, uh, you'll see it in the log, but you won't see it in uh, when the function executes. I'll show you Correct. what that means in a minute. Um, so in this section, you can review the example code, which is what Scott just did. Uh, go to the bottom of the page and choose create function because we don't really need to change anything else. So that is right here. Oh. You know, the, we made the role in our in our dress rehearsal thing. So oh, the role with Lambda Basic Execution already exists. So yeah, uh, so what you can do, you can do two things here. You can uh, use the existing role, which is probably the easiest. Oh yeah, that's or a good we, idea. So we can just use the existing it. role. So that's right here. So yeah. we'll just go create function. That way we won't get an error. Okay, yeah. uh, we had done this earlier. So if if you're doing this for the first time, just do it the way it was shown. It'll it'll go through. As Scott said, we already had created it because we have done this before, as we said. Um, so uh, now we're in here. Okay, so currently you can author your Lambda function in Java, uh, Node.js, Node.js, C Sharp, Go, or Python. For this tutorial, use uh, Python 3.7 at this runtime. Um, and then the handler, you can uh, specify a handler. AWS Lambda can begin executing your code. AWS Lambda provides event data is input to this handler, processes the event. Uh, so in this example, Lambda identifies from the code sample, and this should be pre-populated with lambda.function.lambda handler. So uh, that was... See that if you scroll down on the right bar, you should see that. Yeah. Uh, run, the runtime, runtime settings. settings. Yeah, and you, you don't have to change those or anything like that. Um, no. So invoke the Lambda function to verify the results. So now, now we're right here. So we only... So um, now we're going to invoke the Lambda function and uh, verify the results. And how you do that is select configure uh, test event from the drop down menu called test, which is this uh, orange triangle right here. So we're going to do that. Um, so the editor pops up, so you could do that. So we'll create a new event, um, type in a new event, uh, name like hello world event, uh, routine default setting of private right here. That's fine. Choose hello dash world from the template, which we set up earlier. You can change the values in the sample JSON, but don't change the event structure for this tutorial. Replace value with hello world. This is what we we're talking about here. So uh, yeah. we're going to type, or I'm going to type hello world like this. And then uh, we're going rogue here from the cloud brothers. All right. So we're going to go down here and then we're going to go to save. And then uh, upon successful or choose test. So now we're just going to choose test. So you can see right here, that's what I was talking about. The response is the code worked, the Lambda function executed, yeah. and it gave us the uh, hello world result. Uh, it didn't yeah. It didn't give back from the Cloud Brothers here, but it, it's in the log. No, it, and it did print it because that was in the Python function to print it up. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so we choose test upon 
so we're reviewing the execution results uh, tab verified the execution ex uh, succeeded. The function log section will show the logs generated by the Lambda uh, function execution, as well as key information reported in the log output. Done. Okay, and then uh, we're going to monitor our metrics now. So uh, what we're going to do here is AWS uh, Lambda it, automatically monitors Lambda functions and reports metrics through CloudWatch. Sorry, did you say something? No, oh, it's, okay. it's in A. Okay. What I was going to ask is in A. Yeah. To help you monitor your code as it executes, Lambda automatically tracks the number of requests, the latency per request, and the number of requests resulting in an error and publishes the associated metrics. Uh, a, invoke the Lambda function a few more times by repeatedly choosing the chess button. This will generate the metrics that you can uh, that can be viewed in the next step. Uh, uh, this uh, wizard here is only going to do this five times because that's my budget. Because uh, as a wise man once told me, uh, executing Lambda functions costs you money. Just a little yeah, bit. Out of out of free tier. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I invoked it five, six times because uh, I invoked it once before. So uh, select the monitor tab to view results, which you can find right here. All right, so here's our CloudWatch metrics populating where this uh, where the circle is, wheel. Where this, wheel. the pinwheel is pinwheeling. Um, and they're doing that. Uh, scroll down to view the metrics for your Lambda function. Lambda metrics are reported through Amazon CloudWatch. You can leverage these metrics to set custom alarms. For more information about CloudWatch, you can go to the CloudWatch developer guide. The monitoring tab will show seven CloudWatch metrics, uh, which, which uh, uh, looks true. Here we go. Invocations, duration, error count, and success throttles, async delivery failures, iterator age, and uh, concurrent executions. So, um, yeah, this is because we did it because before. I did it before. It's it's above where it was before because I, I executed the previous one nine times. Um, yeah. So it'll probably go up in a minute. Uh, but anyway, with AWS, you sorry, the monitoring tab will show you seven. I already read all those. With AWS, you pay for what you use. After you hit your AWS Lambda free tier limit, you are charged based on the number of requests for your functions or invocation count. And uh, the time your code executes, invocation duration. For more information, see AWS Lambda pricing. So uh, that's it for that one. And then lastly, delete the Lambda function. This is uh, this is the, uh, well, all of this is easy, really. But here cleanup. it is. Delete. This is cleanup, delete function. Uh, and that's that. We're done. Uh, conclusion. Congratulations, if you've been following along. You have created your first AWS Lambda function. This is your first step in learning how to run applications without needing to provision or manage servers. Lambda automatically scales your applications by running your code in response to each trigger, scaling precisely with the size of your workloads. Ta-da! Wizard! So... Uh, that's uh, all we really have for today. Uh, we're going to give this a cloud rating scale from the Cloud Brothers. A five out of five, five clouds because it's 100% yeah. awesome. And I don't just say that because it was made by AWS because uh, sometimes... Things, some of them aren't always that great. Yeah, sometimes they get outdated. But uh, good job, AWS, whoever uh, made this or is keeping this they, one up. They should it's, like it's, and subscribe to AWS. Yeah, yeah. AWS, you may as well like and subscribe. We're not going anywhere. So... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, tell your friends about us. Uh, we love you, and uh, we'll catch you next time.